everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog sorry if i look very tired right now i actually just woke up um it's around i want to say like eight in the morning maybe a little before eight o'clock i just woke up it's thursday and i'm feeling a little good today i'm just doing some skincare now um i decided i would just pick up the camera and vlog today it has been so long since i've been able to do that you know just after my Greece trip and then I got a little sick and then I was getting back into routine and then I was going back to work and it's been really busy but I'm really happy to be back and chilling with you guys today so I thought I would just vlog it out. I am working today but it'll be around the house so I do have some new purchases I want to show you guys, uh, talk to you guys on what I've been up to and then I was going to do a little get ready with me because I was supposed to be going out to dinner tonight. Um, but I just got a text message from my friend that she had to cancel because she's not feeling too great, which is totally fine. So it's going to be a chill night, which honestly I'm excited for. I feel like, I'm trying to remember like what I did this week and I feel like I haven't really been home or had time to myself, which probably isn't true. Um, but it's nice. I could just like do my own thing tonight. Um... The new season of Kardashians is out. All the good fall TV shows are out. So, you know, I'm going to have a good night with my shows. And, you know, that's how I roll these days. Is chilling in bed watching my shows. Also, today is the official first day of fall. It was so crazy because, you know, yesterday was September 21st? 20th? Whatever day it was yesterday. It was the last day of summer and it was like pretty hot outside. Like it wasn't like that sunny, but it was like humid and hot. And then today's the first day of fall. I wake up and it's like a little cooler outside. It's like sunny still, but you know, like a little cool in the air. And that's my favorite part about fall. Just like the nice, cool, crisp air. So that's really fun today. So maybe I'll have like a pumpkin coffee. We'll see when I get downstairs. I've got shit to do, but I need to get dressed. Just, you know, comfy clothes. Nothing, nothing crazy. And let's have a great day. Thanks for following along. Okay, we're in the kitchen. We have some turkey bacon and some hash browns. Frying up in the air fryer. Then I'm going to cook an egg and put it on a little English muffin. And that's breakfast. And it's the first day of fall. So we're having pumpkin spice cake and espresso pot today. In my cute little good morning mug. We're feeling it today, you know. Little PSA. If you want fall in a cup, get the pumpkin pie, cake, whatever, Nespresso pot from Starbucks. Um, I just added a little bit of milk. Um, I usually put a little bit of stevia in my coffee, but since this like was flavored, I just put a little milk and it is so good. So I've been working for a couple hours. I'm literally laughing at myself. First off, I went to the office yesterday and I'm realizing I get way more work done when I'm at the office. I think it's just because I have no distractions and because I like made my whole way to the office, I like I have to get, you know, shit done. But when I'm at home, I'm kind of just chilling. But besides the point anyways i've been working for a couple hours this is the one i'm wearing today by the way i got this set from zara so long ago and i remembered i had it and it's like the perfect day to wear because it's a little thin still so i'm not too hot and it's just super cute so yeah i've been working and i'm literally laughing at myself because to stay like on it on it i'm like doing my work and then i have the real housewives of beverly hills playing in the background never watched any of the housewives before and i just saw like i had it available on my tv and like i'm watching it so i'll see how i like it i mean i'm kind of interested so far i like easy watches and that's why i like reality tv you know what i mean another reason why i'm laughing at myself is because as i'm sitting here i'm literally breaking in these heels from steve madden um our engagement photos are next thursday and i bought these like a month ago and I haven't broken these in so I need to wear them to make sure I'm comfortable when we take these pictures because we're going to be out and about for a while. So that's what we're doing today. Um, I'm actually kind of like hot right now because it's sunny outside. But guys, I'm telling you when I'm at home working, I give kudos to people who can like work from home and be so productive because when I feel like I'm home, I'm like, oh, I could do my own stuff. You know what I mean? Like I can multitask and like do stuff while I work, which probably is a bad habit but working from home is just a blessing in disguise i freaking love it for example i'm working right now and i'm like ooh, i should probably clean up my room in a little bit you know what i mean tidy up a little bit 
do a workout class. It's all about self-care. That's my excuse right now, but. Okay, little update on my work day, not that it even matters, but I had a couple meetings. I ate lunch, I ate the most random lunch because I'm not that hungry. Um, I do have one more meeting today, but I have a little break right now, so I thought I would do a little collective haul because I have some things that I need to show you guys. I've been on a shopping kick lately, and honestly, I need to stop. I don't know what possessed me to buy these things. It's honestly an issue. I need to stop shopping. But I'm going to blame it on, like, the new season and just wanting a little refresh. But my goal is to build up my capsule wardrobe. I've been saying this for a while. I want to build up my capsule wardrobe, invest in good basic pieces so I can always mix and match and always have something to wear. So that being said, I got a few things. Let me show you. First off, I probably didn't mention, but I did get my hair done on Tuesday. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I actually went to a new salon uh, that I found on Instagram that I really wanted to try. It's close to my house. It was absolutely amazing. They did such a good job even on the haircut as well. I absolutely love it. Um, I was checking my calendar and then I realized the last time I got my hair colored was in May and it's now September. So that's four months. That's a long time for me, a natural brunette to get the blonde redone so I'm glad I got it done I already pre-booked my next appointment that was a little side note but I'm absolutely obsessed and that's why I might look a little different okay so let's start with Sephora I did a small Sephora order again don't know what possessed me because I usually wait for the sale to roll around so I could get my 20% off and collect my points but I was scrolling and I realized stuff I've been wanting for a long time came back in stock and I knew it wasn't gonna last until the sale which I believe is in November so I splurged a little bit. I paid full price. Well, I got $10 off because I used some of my points to get the $10 off, but that's besides the point. So I've been really looking forward to these things. I've tried these out over the past few weeks and I'm absolutely obsessed. So the first thing that I got is this, I don't know if it's pronounced Refi or Refi, R-E-F-Y. Um, it's a brand by a influencer who I've been following on Instagram for a long time. Her name is Jess Hunt. She has beautiful eyebrows and always the most beautiful lip color. So I decided to... Uh, get her little lip kit. This is in the shade Rosewood. So it comes with like a lip liner, which you use to outline your lips and then fill them in a little bit. And then it comes with a lip setter, which is just like a clear matte consistency that you put on top of that lip liner to make it set. And then you could go in with a clear gloss on top just to add some shine. And I just love that little metal thing. I don't know what makes it so aesthetic. I absolutely love it. Packaging 10 out of 10. Nice and neutral. Beautiful color as well. I got the shade Rosewood, like I said. Just a nice, like, medium pink color. I posted a reel on Instagram trying this out. So you can head over into my Instagram to see what that looks like. But I absolutely love it. Like, definitely gonna keep this in my purse. Love. And then following suit on the lip products, I have another one of these. This is the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum. Absolutely obsessed. I have a brighter color for summer. And then he just released new shades for fall. Absolutely love. So this is still a pinky color. This is in the shade Blush Glow. A little bit of a darker pink. Ooh, that sun is coming out. Thank you. A little more of a dusty pink, but really nice. I don't even line my lips with this. I just put it on. Nice little lip gloss. Plumps your lips a little bit. Adds a little bit of color. This is like my everyday lip gloss, lip balm, lip serum that I reapply all the time. Just gives me a nice overall glow on my lips. So absolutely love this. I've been wanting these to come back in stock. I'd, I'd get any color. And I just realized that they were all in stock and then these new colors were in stock online only as well. So if you were looking for this, one of my top lip products, go check it out. And this last item, I've been wanting to try forever. Like, it's always out of stock, even on the Charlotte Tilbury website. Always on Sephora, it's sold out. And then I realized it was back in stock and I ran. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand in the shade Pinkasm. I know everyone's obsessed with this. Everyone talks about this on Instagram and TikTok and YouTube. I'm so happy I got my hands on this and the color is phenomenal. I'm honestly my favorite liquid blush is the NARS Orgasm. This is very close to this maybe a little bit darker in the pinky shades. Absolutely love this. Easy to travel with. Oh it was it's so nice on my cheeks. I'm just so happy I got this. I think it's still in stock. I'm gonna link it below but I understand the hype now. I really understand the hype and I absolutely love. 
So pretty easy one and sorry because the sun is like in my face right now But I did pick up this turtleneck sweater from H&M. It actually has a little bit of wool in it So it's going to be super warm um, for the fall and winter, which I know it's a little scratchy But anything that keeps me warm I'm down for especially because I won't have to wear my parka on top to like stay warm I could put a lighter jacket and be warm just again, simple basic. Like I said, I'm building my capsule wardrobe, so I love this. I actually purchased this with a pair of boots as well, and then I actually decided to return them. I uh, just put them on and realized I didn't need them, and I have taller boots that look like them, so I just sent it back. It's no big deal, but keeping this basic, this was like 30 bucks probably, I think. That makes sense. It was $30. Absolutely love this, so glad to add that to my wardrobe. And then I was scrolling on Abercrombie. Now, I've only ever bought in jeans from Abercrombie, so I kind of knew what I was looking for. And I wasn't going to get these things. And then I have the application Honey on my computer browser, which automatically finds discounts for you. Um, and they found me a discount. And I shared it with you guys on my Instagram. Had to put it make a PSA because I don't like gatekeeping discount codes. I saved 60 bucks, $66 on my Abercrombie order, and I'm really excited to try the stuff on for you. I'm going to try it on in this video. I don't want to keep you guys waiting. So, oof, I'm excited. So, I got a couple pairs of jeans. Uh, the first pair that I'm most excited for, this is the 90s Relax jean, and I got the Curve Love version. Basically, this is going to kind of be like a dad jean, a little bit more of a relaxed fit, which I think is great for the weekends. Or I could pair this with a blazer and it could be really cute for work. So I just got a nice medium blue color, no rips. As you can see, it like flares out, not really flares out, but it's a little bit looser on the bottom. So I'm praying these fit. Um, my other Abercrombie jeans, I got a size 27. Since this is a little bit baggier and it's curve love I've sized down to a 26 so I'm really hoping that works out I'll of course try it on for you keep in mind with jeans guys if they fit on tight in the store that's okay jeans stretch over time no matter if there's stretchy material in them or not they will stretch so if it's a little tight don't worry about it so I'm not too worried about the size so got that super excited and I got another pair of jeans. This is just in the classic shape that I love, which is the 90 straight ultra high rise jean. I got 27 because I do like how my other ones fit. So I just kept with 27. So I got these. Again, no rips. I feel like I have too many ripped jeans. I just need a classic medium blue no rips jean. So I picked this up. This is going to be like staples. This is a staple worth the money. Plus it was on sale. So I'm really excited for these. I'm so happy I picked these up. Of course, I'll try them on for you because I like showing you guys what's up. And then I got a pair of leather pants. Now, I know everyone's talking about the Molina pant, but you know what? Everyone and their mother has the Molina pant. And so many people, so many retailers, so many brands make leather pants these days that you don't always need to get the Molina pant, okay? I have another pair of leather pants by Dynamite. I absolutely love them. I wear them all the time. Um, they are a little looser, so I picked up these, which seems to be a little bit tighter and cropped which I like I'm short when I wear an ankle booty I like you know the proportions to be correct so these are supposed to be like a cropped flare I believe I don't remember I'll try them on for you guys but it looks like it'll be a little bit shorter which will fit me nicely because again I'm only 5'2 I'm short so I just picked up a pair of leather pants really excited to try these I feel like these could pass for the Molinas and they're probably way more, way more comfortable if I'm being honest and they were less expensive so I'm excited for these. Let me try these on for you. I'm super excited. So that's all I got. A little bit of a collective haul. Need to stop shopping for a while. Just keep it chill. But I'm really excited for these. Can't wait to style them up and super happy to show you guys. So of course I'll leave everything linked down below for you. Because if you have a shopping addiction like me, you're probably enjoying this right now. So I'll leave that down for you guys and Let's try this all on. Abercrombie just gets it. These are the 90s ultra high rise straight fit. Um, these are the ones I've gotten before and I just wanted the no rips medium blue. I'm convinced these are the perfect jean. They're just perfect. They fit so nicely. I got size 27 short because I'm a short girly. Um, I just love everything about this. The fit, the color the length like everything is perfect so like this is a staple for sure i'm thinking with boots heels flats blazers sweaters like anything you can think of like this is the jean to put it with 
So I'm really happy I got these. Just the perfect staple jean. So this is the new fit I'm trying out. These are the 90s relaxed fit. I did get a size 26 because I did want it to be relaxed. But I did get them curve love just in case like I didn't want them to be too too tight but I actually really do like them this is giving me like mom jean girl next door vibes like easy with running shoes just like a nice jean definitely perfect for fall I had them on with heels I took them off just so I could get like the full like baggy effect if I wore these with like runners of some sort but I really do like them the thing with Abercrombie is that I do get some like extra material near like my thigh like where my leg starts it's just a tad weird but these would look good with anything. Again, another like staple jean. It's giving Levi's rib cage, but not as high rise. Um, I feel like my Levi's rib cages go up here. These are just like a little bit lower, but like still a high rise. So it's actually really cute. Totally feeling this actually. That was a fun little haul and try on. I did my makeup for that because I filmed a reel as well. Um, now, this is a, like a difficult day for me working from home. I usually work a little harder than this, but I feel like it's chill today. This, ooh, I'm loving my makeup today. Anyways, right now I am uploading my Dynamite Try On haul, which I meant to post so long ago. I've had the clips for so long, so I edited that last night and it's going up as we speak. So that will be up by the time this vlogs up so you can see both of these videos at the same time now while that's uploading i am watching julia and hunter havens while that video uploads and then i do need to work out um i've actually been pretty good at like getting back into schedule last week i worked out four times uh this week monday i did a spin class tuesday pilates and then well yesterday i was at the office so i couldn't really work out but today i'm going to do a spin class and i'm like excited to get sweaty like it's going down um, also, don't you just wish you could be this pretty dog? She's slept all day today, and she loves my bed. As always, you guys know this. Pretty girl. Okay, let's pick a class here. I saw Cody, a Cody Rigsby class I wanted to take because his classes are really fun, and it's been a while since I did one of his classes. Yeah, I think, ooh, he has two that I kind of favorited. Maybe this one it has like some J-Lo, some Enrique Iglesias, Carlos Santana. More like a Latin-y. I think that'll be cute. But anyways, it's time to get on this baby and sweat it out. I just feel like sweating. Like, you know, when you're in the mood for like a really sweaty workout, that's how I feel right now. So let's do it. Whew. That was amazing. Shutting down now. As you could probably tell from the glaze and my wheezing. That was a good workout, so I'm really happy I got that done. That's three days in the book. Maybe I'll do another one tomorrow. That was a good one. Totally forgot to pop on after I showered and everything after my workout. Um, honestly, just change into my jammies right away. Can't help myself. It's like workout, PJs. Anyways, um, had some dinner and we watched the first episodes of The Kardashian. The new season came out today. All I have to say is that Khloe Kardashian deserves better. Tristan Thompson is honestly a piece of trash. Like, just my personal opinion. Watch the episode, but like, I cried a little bit because I feel so bad for her. Um, that was just crazy to me. It was so weird. I was a little bit confused because I feel like on the first episode, they fast forward in time a little bit to talk about the whole Khloe situation. And it looks like the rest of the season will be everything that happened before that so like met gala all that jazz but really good emotional first episode i love watching the kardashians it's like the guilty pleasure of mine absolutely love that show um p.s changed my mind about these pants i actually really like them now you know what it is i think it's because my dynamite ones i'm so used to like the trouser look and these are very much like pants like a different look so i think i just have to work them in a little bit and they'll be perfect um and i'm also in period so i'm like a little bit bloated so i think that could be it change my mind i'm gonna keep them i'm gonna keep both of these jeans i love it all so now i just need to try to like not shop anymore i'll obviously like get stuff to show you guys um and style it up for you but like oh not shopping is so hard but i guess we'll just do some work now i have my laptop here maybe do some pinteresting pinning 
whatever you call it stuff like that so i'm gonna close off the vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed and it was a little bit of a random one but i honestly just missed talking to you guys i feel like it's been go 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 since getting home from greece and picking up and talking to you guys is just one of my favorite things to do so i hope you guys enjoyed as always don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up to support my channel and of course i'll be back with more videos soon love you guys bye